Well, I think um, uh, what is quite an interesting with uh, entrepreneur is uh, the focus on, on cash flow and, and profitability, which I think in today's world is becoming more and more important. So whether you're building a new business or you're buying and investing into an existing business, uh, uh, you know, utilizing cash flows to grow that business um, or acquiring other businesses to make it bis bigger is, is, is a very, very exciting area of investment. And I think particularly in, in uh, times of big macroeconomic challenges. Well, I mean, it's, it's I mean, very high quality people. So, um, you know, Kylie obviously has done a lot of deals in this space and has done incredibly well. Uh, Michael uh, has done the same. Um, Aaron, you know, we used him in Antler as well for marketing and growth. He's just brilliant at helping companies grow and doing their marketing. Um, Dana, who's, you know, helping a lot of people here with financing and obviously has a tremendous amount of experience from Wall Street doing that and has now a network of more than 2,000 investors, accredited investors. They're looking at backing people who want to come into this space. Yes, it's really high quality people speaking, but also it's just been great to meet the people who are here and in the circle, right? Who are excited making deals, excited investing. There's a bunch of entrepreneurs, there's a bunch of investors, there's a bunch of people who are great at specific things. So not only the people speaking, but also this, I think the community is the most important, like the other people who are here. I think it's all, you can always learn a lot online. You can learn a lot by reading books and you can learn a lot by watching videos, but there's a lot of things that just happen by chance when you're in a room of 100 to 200 really great people um, which can never be replicated online. So this in-person element of meeting each other I think is incredibly meaningful and you typically come out of that with more real actions uh, than spending countless of hours online. So yeah, I really recommend people seeing each other in person. I mean, obviously, every, everyone is in a different situation. Um, but I do think building a portfolio of different type of investments is, is the right thing to do if you want to build generational wealth. Um, uh, my advice would typically be to, to put about 10 to 20 percent into um, you know, new innovation and growth. I think yeah, people kind of have an obligation to do that. So supporting great entrepreneurs, build great businesses. So investing in the next generation, great ventures, which is what we are doing. Um, I think putting a part of your portfolio into these types of companies that are generating cash flow on a, a daily basis. So they're less kind of zero to a thousand type investments, um, but perhaps, uh, you know, five to 10 X investments, uh, which will generate cash flow every year. It's a good part of your portfolio. Um, and then obviously you should look into um, you know, other areas as well, um, which are uh, you know, more liquid for, for your daily needs. But, you know, so I think that doing this as, as part of a portfolio thinking is, is very important for creating this, this type of general wealth. And obviously there's a lot of people here who, who've done that and can speak to this um, you know, more, um, more accurately than me because you know, I'm, I'm a tech investor. Also, I think, you know, if we look at the founders Antler are backing, um, we typically have about 100 founders at a time working with us in one of our offices across 25 countries across the globe. So in, in Europe, North America, South America, Africa, Asia, Australia. And they come and meet and, and spend time together at Antler to find co-founders to validate their business model before they start building. Um, and out of that, you shave off years and you shave off a lot of uncertainty in your investments and a lot of uncertainty in, in, in ultimately when you think about building something or investing into something, the only thing you have is you have capital and you have time. And um, um, it's so important to front load your thinking on that because once you made an investment into anything, um, um, you're kind of stuck with that asset in the non-liquid world. Um, so if you make the wrong investment, uh, it can cost you a lot of time and capital, which is really the only thing you have. And it's the same for entrepreneurs. Uh, so by spending some real quality time together with a lot of other people looking at the same field, um, hearing from people who've been doing it for years in person, um, it can really help you save the most important thing for you, right? Which is, yes, capitalists is obviously incredibly important, but 
but more important than that is time, right? You don't want to be stuck as an entrepreneur, spending two to three, four, five years of your life working and building the wrong thing with the wrong team. At the same time, you don't want to spend um, three to four or five years as an investor having made the wrong investment and trying to save that investment. So if you can then rather front load and spend time up front uh, to make the right decision, all the time you spend doing that is really, really worth it. Whether you want to build a business or invest into business or um, invest into to a fund that are supporting businesses, um, think about the co-founding nature of, of the world, right? So um, if you wait a year, if you wait two years, if you wait three years, you lost two to three years of very, very valuable time in your life where you could have compounded uh, that, that time and that capital investment that you could make today. So I think my number one advice would be if you're really thinking about doing something and you're passionate about it and you're excited about achieving it, Set your 10-year goal, set your five-year goal, set your one-year goal, but think about what you can do today that will make you more likely to get there. Um, and the longer you wait, the less of a chance it is that you, you will ultimately end up achieving your goal.